Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this problem, number 22, we're going to be finding the equation of the line passing through the points negative 2, 3, and, neg and 1, negative 3. We're going to write the equation in slope-intercept form. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is to find the slope. To find the slope, we're going to take these two coordinates and we're going to label them. So here we have negative 2 and 3 and 1 and negative 3. So we're just going to label these x1, y1, x2, and y2. The slope equation is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And here we're just going to pull the values that we have labeled here, right? So x2 would be from here, and y2 would be from here, x1 from here, and y1 from here. So we're going to use parentheses for every substitution. We have y2 is negative 3, take away y1 is positive 3. On the bottom here we have x2, which is 1, minus y1, I mean x1, which is negative 2. And here we're just going to drop the parentheses and deal with the sign changes as they come along. So we have negative 3 minus 3 over 1 plus 2. A negative negative changes to a positive here, so that's why we get this plus 2. Now here we're going to have negative 6 over positive 3, which negative 6 divided by positive 3 is just negative 2. So here we have our slope, m equals negative 2. And we're going to pair this with the first coordinate of the system negative 2 and 3. The reason why I'm picking the first coordinate is because they're x1 and y1. In this case, we're going to be using the point and slope formula to solve the equation of the line. So the point and slope formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is the fastest route to getting our solution. So here we're just going to insert the values of m, x1, and y1, which are right here. Leave this x and this y alone for this problem to work correctly. So here we're going to have y minus the value of y1 is positive 3 equals m, which is a negative 2, times x minus a negative 2. So it's minus a negative 2 is the substitution. Let's simplify what we have in the parentheses first by order of operations. So we just have y minus 3 equals negative 2 parentheses x plus 2. Our following step is just going to be distrib distribute the negative 2 to both sides, I mean to both terms here. We have y minus 3 equals negative 2x's minus 4. Now the final step is just to add the additive inverse of negative 3 to both sides so we can get this y term alone. So we're going to add a 3 here and add a 3 here. These two are going to cancel. These two are going to add up to negative 1. So let's write what we have left over here. We have y equals negative 2x minus 1. I'll just rewrite that over here for clarity. And there's our equation of the line. Now we just have to match this to the correct solution. And if we see here, it's actually this one, d, which has y equals negative 2x minus 1. All right, from the first solution, we found the equation of the line using the point and slope form. But this time, we're going to use the slope-intercept form to solve it. So we already solved our slope as negative 2. So what we have to do now is choose one of the two coordinates so that we can get the equation of the line. The coordinate in combination with the slope itself will give us the b term. So here we have the equation of the slope-intercept form. And our task is then just to pick one of these two points. For the sake of good argument, I'm going to use the second coordinate as it will give me the same value as the first one will. So I'm going to choose my x and y to be 1 and negative 3. So here I see my x is equal to 1, my y is equal to negative 3. So let me substitute them all into this equation. So now I have my y value is negative 3 equals my m value, which is negative 2. My x value is positive 1. And my b-value is what I'm solving for. I want to find my y-intercept, which is what the b stands for. So I'm going to distribute this negative 2 to the 1 and follow the order of operations to solve for this b. So I have negative 3 on this side equals negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus b. Now the next step is to use the additive inverse to carry over the negative 2 from the right side to the left side. And I'm just going to add 2 to get rid of it to both sides. This 2 cancels, and here I get negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 is equivalent to the b. 
Now the B is my y-intercept, as I said before. So I'm just going to use the same base equation and combine my slope, which is negative 2, with my y-intercept, which is b, and insert them into this equation. So I have y equals mx plus b, and then I get y equals negative 2 times x, so negative 2x's, and my b value is negative 1. So instead of just adding negative 1, I'm going to just leave it as negative. All right, and that's the equation of the line, which is also the same solution we got before with the point and slope form.